crazy mother. Come on, let the fire truck go. Some people are idiots. Well, welcome to the morning vlog. My name's Drew Reeves, and this is the Disruptor Channel, where we post vlogs Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. for your viewing pleasure. And today, what we're gonna talk about is five success killing habits. These are habits that will kill your chances or ruin and or diminish your chances of being successful at whatever you would try to apply it to, right? Success is deemed by the eye of the beholder. It is like beauty. You only see the beauty. Only you can determine you've reached your success point or not, right? No one else can tell you you're not successful at whatever you're trying to accomplish, right? Because nobody knows your growing pains or where you've gone from or your progress. So don't ever sit there and let somebody say, oh, you're just doing the wrong thing. It's not getting you anywhere. It's like, well, doing nothing gets you absolutely nothing, right? Doing something has a probability of getting you something, right? So moving on, right? People who gen generally will postpone doing something in order to go drink beer, party, watch football, aimless television. And by aimless, I mean you're just clicking through. You sit down with no intention to watch anything in particular. You just, let's see what's on TV and flipping through channels, right? That is a very, very bad habit because you could be using that time much more wiser, right? The next time somebody offers you a beard after, after you know, on a Friday night or offer to go out for drinking, go out to drinks or something like that, it's fine to go out once in a while. But going out every weekend and doing that stuff, you don't save money, it's not a good use of your time, forgetting the fact that you're gonna wake up hungover the next morning and that's gonna diminish your ability to focus and do what you need to be doing, right? So, yeah, that's the first one. Next one kind of ties into that, keeping poor company, right? And what I mean by poor company is not by the dollar. They're not cheap, they're not broke. Poor company can easily be example to you like this. How many successful people you know hang out with a bunch of losers? How many people have you witnessed in your life hang out with a bunch of losers only to wind up one? If you hang out with 10 losers, you become one. That's the problem with keeping poor company, right? Don't hang out with people that slow you down or try to take you away or tell you you suck or your dreams are stupid. Hang out with people that are trying to help you, who, who are willing to say, that didn't work for me, but I'll help you try that route. All right? You have to surround yourself with people like that, that are positive, that are doing the right thing, that are out there. Not the person like when you go, hey, I want to go get a job. Nah, dude, I'm going to go take a nap all day. You know, right? Why are you gonna fucking take a nap all day? Right, what, what is taking a nap gonna do for you? Right? My point exactly. Cut those people out, right? Because all they're doing is dragging you down and bringing you dead weight, right? Next one, fear of action, right? We all wind up in these places where you work hard, you got this wonderful plan, Get some of your resources together and you're waiting to get those last few resources so you can start, right? Well, guess what? Don't fear taking action, just start. If, you're, if you don't have everything you need to start, start anyways, right? Get started. I started YouTube with a session camera, right? A tiny little session camera. The worst one too, the first one that came out. That thing had shitty quality, everything. Watch all my old videos, you'll see it. But I didn't let the fact that I didn't have the right camera or the right equipment to stop me. I had a cell phone. I used that. I used the GoPro when I had the chance. And as I developed my craft and made money, I put it back into my, my channel and bought better camera equipment. You know, we got the drone, we got the, you know, 
multiple GoPros, gimbals, all kinds of crap to film what we need to film for this show. But I didn't let that be an excuse. Yeah, you would love to start with all those wonderful things right up front, but you don't need to. And you don't need to fear not having all those things. If you have the basics, a will and the drive, having lack of resources isn't gonna stop you. You will become naturally resourceful, right? And that's the problem. People bitch and whine, I don't have the resources. No, it's not that you don't have the resources. You're not resourceful enough, right? And you're using that to fuel your fear of action, right? Don't fuel your fear of action, take action. Leads to my next one, right? You must execute what you say you're going to do, right? People who don't execute what they say they're going to do or commit to do, they don't become successful. You know, if you're not willing to sit there after everybody goes home to hone your craft to get everything ready so you don't wind up behind tomorrow, you're not executing, right? Think of it this way. You can grade yourself by thinking this in your own head. Out of all the things I say I'm going to do in the course of one day, how many of those things do I execute to standard or to the desired point? Is that 60%? Because if it is, we'll treat it like a grade. That's a D, right? That's pretty much failing. You're below average. 70% is average, right? 80% is above average. Now you're doing a little bit better, right? But if you can execute 90 to 95% of what you say you're going to do, right? You will be successful. Trust me, you will be. Because you're not letting anything stop you. Right? And the last and final driver, this thing drives the nail in everyone's coffin of success. You can bury your successes off this stuff. And you know what? You can find all the wasted opportunities and ideas and everything in a graveyard. That is where all the potential all the great, wonderful ideas that never got executed wind up in a graveyard. They die with you, right? Share your great ideas with people. Experiment with your things, but stop doing this one thing. Procrastinate, waiting for tomorrow. Everybody loves Tomorrow Island for some reason. Tomorrow Island is a wonderful place to be because everything gets done. No, it doesn't. Tomorrow. It's always tomorrow on Tomorrow Island, right? And Tomorrow Island sits right next to Someday Island, right? Because if you don't get through tomorrow, if you continue to pro procrastinate, it will be someday I will get there. Someday I will be successful. Someday I'll have my own little island, right? That right there is the biggest killer of anyone's success procrastinating what you can get done today and letting it wait till tomorrow. You push things off to the side. You wait to the last minute to get what you need done for the day, right? To keep you on schedule. Did you know, right? And I, and I tell you this, I, I make a living and I make connections doing just this. Executing all the tasks no one else wants to go do. Be it mundane or highly complex, I will take whatever I can get my hands on. You know, I say this in, in work all the time lately. I hate when people use policy to get them out of work. We all want a job, we all want things. We all need to work. Why are you looking at policy to get you out of doing work, right? Now, I'm not talking about using a policy to save your, to keep you safe or things like that, obviously. But I'm talking about policies that stop, stop you or get you out of work, right? Oh, I can't do that because this policy says I can. Well, then my answer to you is this. Why don't you go find a policy that gets you into work, that gets you into that project you want? get you into that world you wish to live in. 
I'm gonna have to go the other way around this time. But yeah, if you wanna get that policy you wanna live in, you wanna get in there and you wanna use that policy to get you into work, get you working, getting you doing what you need to do, right? Stop letting people tell you that something's stopping you from doing something, right? Tell people what gets you into doing work, right? So with that, as you can tell, I'm driving in my own neighborhood, so that pretty much means I'm home. And I will conclude the show with one really good and my favorite of all, is remember to work hard and play nice.